Welcome back, you guys. So today we're gonna do some primers. Yes, we're gonna have a primer kind of day today. You may ask why? Well, why not? That's why I say, why not have a primer kind of day? You guys know if you watch my channel that I'm not a primer kind of gal. I just, I'm not because I never find one that actually does anything. And to me, you wanna put extra product on your face and have another layer of something sitting on there, you better be doing something for me, okay? That's just the fact of the matter with this face, all right? So I did go on a little primer splurge, you know, so I wanted to try out different primers, and I'm gonna do this for you on camera today, all day, a wear test, and we're gonna see if either of them actually do anything. Usually, they do nothing. They actually make my makeup look worse, and I hate that, like, I hate that. You're trying to get no cake face. You end up triple layer cake face. So I don't want a wedding cake on my face. I just want to look nice and natural, sometimes glam, but even when you're glam, you don't want to look cake face, you know? No, okay, no. Keep the butter in the fridge, not on the face. Here we go, guys, we got three of them today. So first off, I have this Becca one right here. This guy right here, I don't know anything about. Um, I got it because it was on sale, and your girl likes sales. I like coupons, I like sales. I like 60% off, so hey, if I see 60% off, I'm gonna try to grab it. This is Becca. I love Becca's packaging. It's just so classic, it's really nice, it's sleek. Becca's an actually really good brand. Now this is for under eyes, okay? So it is just this blue color. So you may be like, well, what's that supposed to do? It's supposed to give you a cooling effect under here and help depuff under the eyes only. It's not an all around face primer. It is under eye only. So it says on here, anti-fatigue under eye primer. A wake up call for tired eyes. Ding, ding, ding. Instantly energizes and rejuvenates for a bright eyed awakened effect. Coverage can only go so far. Gently massages priming balm under the eye area to eliminate the appearance of eye baggage. Your girl's got some baggage. And reduce puffiness. The sheer and velvety texture effortless, effortlessly. Why can't I say that word all of a sudden? It's not that hard effortlessly melts into the skin while a blend of botanical extracts vitamins and peptides smooth and condition the eye area perfectly preps for corrector and concealer application so makeup never creases or looks cakey that's what i wanted to hear so we're going to pop this underneath the eye the way it says it doesn't really say how much to get so i'm just kind of like rubbing my finger on there i'm not really picking up much i'm just kind of like rubbing it around and i don't want to overdo it because you can easily overdo it it feels silky, it's not smushy, it's hard. So I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting like chunks of it and popping it under there. I really don't think so. You know, it takes trial and error with new products that you're not aware of. And I didn't think this was gonna be like a learning curve. So I might look it up online later and see if people actually scratch some out. I really don't think that you do because um, it doesn't feel like that kind of, it just feels like you should be rubbing your hands on it. Does that make sense? I don't know. We will find out if it depuffs anything. I'm a skeptic, you guys. You gotta prove to me something, all right? And next week, when I do the second round of primers that I got, because I got two other ones that I can't, I can't do them all. I can't put them all on my face at one time. I'll do that video next week, and I'll let you guys know if I found out if this Becca did anything or not. Moving on, we've got Cover Effects. So this is a really good brand as well. People say a lot of good things about Cover Effects. This right here is a blurring primer now the reason i'm trying this one is because i got another blurring primer today so this one is also by becca and it is a skin love brighten and blur primer it says it right there brighten and blur primer so i figured you both guys are saying that you're gonna blur something so i want to see who's gonna actually blur what okay who's the liar and who's not we're gonna put on the cover effects on this side and then we'll put on the becca on this side so I'm just gonna get a little tiny dab. Oh, it's actually colored. It's a weird consistency. It's not like gel and it's not like, it's more like putty, I guess. All right, this says, a blurring primer that instantly minimizes the appearance of pores and fine lines to create a super smooth, flawless airbrush look. Directions, apply every morning on a clean face. I got that. Ideal to prime skin for foundation application. Well, there you go. So not much info just apply on a clean face you guys this feels super duper silky soft 
Why did it take me forever to say that? I don't know. Wow. I hardly ever say wow. This really feels really smooth on the face. You guys, I see a difference. This looked like it filled in a lot of the pores, which they call blurring. It looks pretty blurred right here. I can see my pores right here and right here, they're like flattened. I don't douse this all over the place. I just put little tiny bits. And I just wanna cover this side right here from this part right here. You don't have to put primer all over the place, you know? I mean, if you want it to grip your makeup and hold your makeup longer, okay. But this is more of a blurring primer. So I'm just using it on the areas that need to be blurred. Now, that doesn't mean it's gonna wear well under the makeup. You know, just right now, my skin looks pretty darn smooth. This side is just, hey, we want that. Now here for the Becca one. Skin love, brightening and blurring, okay? It's a skin smoothing primer that instantly blurs and hydrates the skin. An optical blurring blend diffuses the look of pores, leaving skin looking and feeling silky smooth and perfectly prepped for flawless makeup. The silky soft formula is fueled, another silky soft, all right, is fueled by our skin love glow nectar brightening hydro complex. I mean, that, that, that's a long phrase. Skin love glow nectar brightening hydro complex. Okay, girl, I got you. A blend of ingredients that help brighten, hydrate, and nourish the skin. Fresh and plush on skin, this formula contains natural butters, hyaluronic acid, and a sugar-derived pore refiner to hydrate, smooth, and perfect our complexion. I hope I didn't just read all that for nothing. I hope it actually does what it's saying it's going to do. That's a lot of reading for no reason. So we're just going to open this guy up. Just put a bit. I never overload it. And we're going to pop it in there. I'm not gonna say, oh wow, right away, like I just did with the other one, because there's there's a difference. It's not, oh wowing me right now. And I'm using my fingers, you guys, instead of a brush or a sponge or anything, because I want the warmth of my fingers to help melt this into the skin. It's kind of the best. That's my opinion, that's how I feel. If it's gonna work, it's gonna work better with your fingers. This way it's not just applied on top. It actually has that warmth of your hands to press it in. Is it blurring? Well, maybe a little bit. It doesn't feel like this side. This side feels almost just silken. This side is more hydrating. And it does say it's more of a hydrating type of primer. I mean, if you listen to all that, what I read, that whole entire novel, it's kind of what it's saying. But it's also saying that it blurs. I don't know, I guess it does a little bit. So we're gonna wear this throughout the day. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh, have you subscribed? Have you subscribed yet? You definitely wanna subscribe because you get to do fun things like this. We get to mess with my face and see what works and doesn't work. I'm here to give you info. You wanna subscribe, okay? Okay, see you in a minute. I don't have the best lighting in here, but just to show you on this side right here, if you take a really good look, it still looks really smooth and it looks pretty smooth right here as well. This is the side with the cover effects. And I will say, I am a very big skeptic when it comes to primers. You guys know this about me, but I am not hating this right now. I look pretty smooth right here. Um, it's not perfect, but I'm not perfect, so it's okay. Um, it doesn't look bad at all. I didn't go crazy with makeup or anything because I wanted to focus on just the face and how the face was going to come out with these primers. And like I said, you guys, so far right here, it looks fine. That Becca under eye, let's see if I can get you close in here. It feels really light. Like you can't tell that it's there. But I don't know if it's that or if it's the concealer that I put right here that seems to be accentuating these little lines here, which no likey. I know like you when it's accentuated. I did use a different concealer today. I used one that I've never tried before. I was trying it out and that's a no-no. Whenever you wanna try out a new product, you should use the products that you know work a certain way and this way you know what is doing what. 
you know what I mean? So I should not have used a different concealer. I should have used the regular concealer I always use, which is my Tarte Shape Tape. And this way I'd know if it was a Shape Tape or if it was the Becca um, primer that I put on under the eye. Typically, I don't see this line too often. And I don't even know where this line came from. Like that sucker, I don't remember him being there last week. <sighs> the stress of seeing wrinkles just pop up out of nowhere. I think they like all call up each other and say, hey, let's just load up on Kat's face. But anyway, if you look at this side over here, it is a little bit more luminous than this side. I don't know how I'm feeling about the Becca side. It seems like it's smooth, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like this side is smoother than this side. It could just be me. It could just be the way the camera is. They're just two different style of blurring primers. You know, this one was very silky and kind of mattifying. This one was kind of greasy sort of, but that's the products that it has in there is for moisture. Um, I did insert some pictures. So we're an hour and a half later and I'm just taking quick video, but um, it is a pretty busy day. So it's harder for me to do little check-ins and I don't have the best lighting in here. So my apologies for that. We'll be back to check in in a couple more hours. All right, see how it goes. Fingers crossed, I'm rooting for them. I hope they work out. Okay guys, here is the final result. It's about one in the morning, so excuse my appearance. I'm a bit tired, but I did leave this on all day long. So this is about 12 hours of wear right here. And as you can see, very luminous all over the place. So I did two check-ins earlier. One was at six, I took a couple pictures. Then the second one was around eight, and now we're at like 1 a.m. My initial thoughts when I first put it on was this side was very smooth, the cover effects, and this side was a little bit more, it was smooth, it was blurring, but not the same as this side. This side felt very silky, and this side just felt more moisturizing. So it stayed that way. I could be because I'm under the heavy lights right now and I'm starting to sweat, but they both kind of look really luminous. Earlier, this side looked drier. Now they both kind of look similar. Did they blur? They, they did blur a bit. I'm gonna say that I'm still kind of leaning towards the cover effect side just because it stayed drier longer. Um, now it is kind of catching up to this side, but this side seemed pretty glossy. A little dewy is okay. You know, you want some healthy look, you know, like a radiance. But when you start to look a little greasy, that's borderline. No, no bueno. No thank you. No like you. Do I think they did anything? Yeah, I think they blurred a little bit in this area right here. Becca is a very good brand. Um, so I really wanted to make sure that I tried it. But I will say out of primers in general, these two have shown me more than basically any other primer that I've used. I do have large pores, so I do have more issues than many other people out there. But you know, try them, see how they work for you. My opinion, I prefer the cover effect side. I'm gonna have another two that I'm gonna come out with. So it's four primers that we're trying out. It didn't hold my foundation on that much longer than when I already use my foundation. But maybe because this is more of a dewy type of foundation, that could possibly be why I'm having much more dew on the face. Who knows, it could be why. It's possible. So I will try this again with my Stila and see how that works out. And if it works out better, I will let you guys know in that next video that I do. I'll say, hey, by the way, let's fill you in, okay? All right, you guys, so that was the wear test for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it try to give you some ideas on primers and what works and what doesn't work. And I will use it a few more times because I don't believe first impressions really tell you exactly what you wanna know. It's a first impression. I, I use a different foundation. So I talk with my hands a lot. It is what it is, deal with it, all right? Can't help it. So subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I'll be waiting to see you down in the comment section and I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I'm gonna go get some sleep. All right, bye. You could basically fry an egg on my forehead right now, but that's okay because it's all done in good fun. Now, what's it done for? A review. Yeah. Fry an egg on my face. See how it goes. <laughs>